What's going on guys? It's good to see you guys. Thank you all so much for showing up to the channel today. We're going to be listening to You Can't Kill Me by 070 Shake. I know I am a little late to this one, but better late than ever. Um, I'm trying to be more active on the channel and so I'm getting a lot of videos done. And uh, you know, I am planning on catching up on all the albums that I haven't heard yet, but it will take a minute, so bear with me. But they are coming. <clears throat> Gonna. Speaking of which, the donation goal uh, is $30. Once we hit that $30, I add Gunna officially to the queue of albums that I'm going through. And uh, if you would like to, you know, donate to the channel to support the channel and help this goal, you know, move up, uh, use the Streamlabs link in the description. And uh, yeah, the, the Gunna reaction will be coming soon, as soon as we hit that, that donation goal. So, let me get this out of the way. Fifth time recording the intro. This is the second time. My dog started barking the first time around. Uh, so, how did I learn so much English in Brazil? I grew up in the US. I spent 15 years living in the United States. Uh, so, yeah, I was telling the chat before I started the recording, I'm expecting this album to be fire. I, I wish 070 Shake had a larger following than she currently does, but maybe this one is the one to put her on the map. I'm, I'm expecting this music to be great. I've heard a couple of the uh, singles that she dropped, like Skin and Bones, uh, body. I think she's on a roll right now. I think she hasn't missed in a minute. And so I'm expecting this to just be like, you know, something different, something cinematic, something something that I can add to my playlist and sort of feel. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it, it, like I said, I, I don't think she's missed in a minute. So I'm very excited to jump into this one. So with that said, uh, we're going to jump into track one, which is Web. It's just certain. This thing isn't working. Let's be here in prayer. Lots of back and forth, yep. Nice. I like the way the track is building. Feels nice and lush and full. Loving these vocals right now. Definitely feels triumphant. Like a, you know, triumphant way to start up the album. Seamless transition too. I love the way she uses the vocals, man. That harp sounds gorgeous. Jeffrey's going through it in the chat right now, man. Wow. This sounds so cool. Loving these drums that are coming in right now. So tribal. There's something like oddly spiritual about this track. It just feels like, you know, meditating. Seamless transition into history as well. So very tasteful, very artful use of the um, you know the the harmonies and the the vocals, um, auto tune settings, like just creating an almost robotic but weirdly um, hypnotic and spiritual kind of like relaxing feeling with the the vocal layers. When you pair that with the <clears throat> um, you know the warm kind of like full you know, synth bass and the uh, tribal drums like re resounding in the background. It's, it's just a really like special feeling to listen to that second track. The first one is well, very cinematic opening to the album. Um, I, th I think that like the first two vibes off of this album so far are on the mellow side, but like that's perfect for, for the way that I'm feeling right now. You know, like I said, it's a rainy, it's a rainy day in Brazil. It's nice and chilly and it's a Monday. So it's like, we're just starting off the week again. I feel like right now this is perfect, man. This is an oddly healing, you know, quality to it. That's really interesting, man. Um, track three is history. There's a lot of really cool distortion and texture to these sounds. Oh, please, the strings, yes. Dude, look at those strings, go! This is the electric guitar. This is clean, bro. Those strings are conveying so much emotion right now, man. Okay, so, uh, history. Five minutes long. Um, obviously a little bit on the longer side and so 
It's not the kind of track that I um, enjoy listening to in this setting. Super analytical listen, like where I'm just like, you know, in front of a camera, um, trying to find out what to say, trying to find the words to describe it. It's not ideal, you know, for any track that's over five minutes long. This is the kind of track that I would love to listen to while I, you know, were laying down with my eyes closed or while I was driving around at night. Vibing, right? Not, not analyzing, not being overly critical, just vibing. I feel like this is the perfect, that would be the perfect setting to listen to this in. Now, they do take enough, they do, you know, have enough switches and enough um, interesting elements in the production and in the singing going on to keep us pretty invested, you know, for the entire five minutes. They, uh, they incorporate a lot of different elements, a lot of different moments in that song. I, I enjoyed it, but I do think that for this kind of a listen, it's on the longer side. Grand intros, but they don't go anywhere? That's an interesting take. Interesting way to close that out with the guitars, man. I think I would have preferred it if the drums came in a little earlier, because I can understand the sentiment that like, oh, the openings are so grand, but they don't go anywhere. I just think like it leads, it takes a little bit too long to lead up and, and finally climax. Um, but honestly, that's really not a bad song. A lot of these tracks are relying very, very little on drums, on bounce, on percussion. It's all very much, um, you know, the singing, the pads, the synths, the, the guitars, the instrumentation, um, and the, the vocal processing that kind of like creates that energy, that vibe that, you know, pushes these tracks forward, um, utilizing very, very little drums, which is an interesting kind of experiment, um, I think. So next track is Skin and Bones. We're gonna be skipping it, because like I said, I've heard that one before, um, but I personally really, really like it. We're gonna move on to Blue Velvet. I don't know if I like how that dropped. I'm not really feeling this one, man. This one is a little, it sounds like a lullaby to me. Like, I, it's not really grabbing my attention at all. Um, this one just feels a little too sleepy, you know? Like, it's different from a slower, mellow track with, with uh, that's still interesting to listen to. This one is just kind of like, uh, you know? The next track is Cocoon. This is familiar to me. I think I've heard this one during one of the streams. One of you guys might have suggested it. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Man, those drums are fire, bro. God damn. This is a playlist track for sure. Really like Cocoon, man. Cocoon's got great energy. Great, en great energy off of Cocoon, dude. Um, really like that one. The drums, the heavy hitting drums, like it feels like it actually, you know, the track starts off one way and then actually gets somewhere. It's, it's very satisfying and it sounds great. Uh, the next track is Body. I've heard it as well. Uh, it's a great track. It's a very solid, you know, I think three, no, 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 not a three track run because I didn't like that last one. But uh, anyways, yeah, Cocoon and Body, that's a solid two track run. Wine and Spirits will make it a three track run if it's dope. So let's skip onto that one. Starting with the guitar is already a strong, strong point. Wine and Spirits. Yeah, man, this album was definitely, definitely made for you to listen to it when you're like laid back with your eyes closed after you smoked something or drank something and you're, uh, you know, just vibing, dude, because this, uh, 
it feels weird to just like sit down in front of a camera and listen to it, man. It's it's such a, a laid back, like mellow vibe, dude. It's gonna be like one of the most low energy videos I've ever made. <laughs> Fire um, travel drums too in the background. Really cool strings, loving the guitar right now. I like that they ran her voice through an amp. Ah, cool Jeff, I'm glad you made it out alive, dude. Uh, man, it's so tough, dude, to, like, I'm comparing it to Modus Vivendi, you know? Modus Vivendi was a little more dynamic than this one. This one just kind of feels pretty stagnant. I'm a little disappointed by it, man, I think. Um, I'm disappointed in this album so far, dude. Like, I can't lie to you guys. Modus Vivendi was way more dynamic. It had, like, you know, ups and downs and different dynamic tracks and there were more mellow vibes and there were some more energetic vibes and there were some you know happier sounding songs and this one just kind of like feels like it's just been one really long monotone just like low energy vibe which is why i said this album if you're gonna play it like you should definitely just be relaxing with your eyes closed or something just like daydreaming or whatever while you have it on because right now man i'm like uh, I'm comparing it to Modus Vivendi, and I like that one better, you know? I had a better vibe throughout the Drake album. I enjoyed it more, honestly. Although I have most of it saved to my playlist. It's definitely not trash, Jeff. Honestly, never mind, it's a seven. Dude, we're a minute and 16 seconds into this song. What's happened? This moment of this track should have come two minutes ago. Bro, why did this drop come at 1 minute and 47 seconds, you know? This is fire. I just wish the drop happened earlier. I like this track. No, I like this one. I just wish it... I just wish the drop came earlier. Yeah, Jeff, I agree. There's no bad songs. It just gets... It stagnates and it feels bland at sometimes, but it's not, there's no bad songs on here at all. All the production is really well done as well. If you play any one song off of this album, you're gonna be impressed by it, but just listening to them all one after the other is a little tough. Purple Walls. I, gotta hurt me again. I disagree, Jeff. I've had the album on a loop. Also, for an album that you hate, you talk about it a lot more than anyone else I've ever seen. Yeah, I definitely listen to it on my free time to mess with you, Jeff. I like this vibe. These drums are cool, too. I'm the first guy you know to actually like it. Bro, a bunch of music reactors liked it. Tabby liked it. I know for a fact that uh, Miami liked it. Uh, I think one of the Mallory bros liked it and the other one disliked it. I haven't seen their video yet. I know John Denton liked it. How am I the only one? Cool track. I'm not mad at the strings here either, man. He lives in your head rent free, man. It's crazy. It's not a bad track, man. Purple Walls. Stay. Honestly, never mind. Lives in your head rent free. Drake is Black Doug. Ah, uh, man, I don't want to listen to this album anymore. <laughs> and this song isn't even bad, if I'm being objective. This song is not even bad. It's the previous tracks that soured me on the rest of it. Stay is not even a bad song, man. I, and honestly, the second half of this album is way better than the first half of the album. And if I'm being objective, I enjoy these tracks in the second half a lot more. You know, they, they've got some, a little bit more energy. They actually feel like they go somewhere. But it's so tough to get through that first half to finally reach this point and still have an open mind. You know what I mean? The, the first half was just like so slow, dude. History was fire, but I think it, it's a little too long. Um, but it's just such a slow first half. You know what I mean? Uh, the last track is Se Fue La Luz. That's probably trash pronunciation, but it means the light has gone. 
It's not a bad album. It's just not for this setting. I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. Sitting down in front of a camera and lights and like just sitting and, and having to actively listen to it and like try and talk about every song is just really, really tough. But if I had this on while I'm relaxing or you know, while I'm talking to somebody or even washing dishes, hell, anything you do with this on, like this will just make everything you do smoother, easier, you know, more mellow, more relaxing. Shake is really talented, man. I genuinely really like a lot of her shit, but I do think Modus Vivendi was a better album. Jeff, I am not gonna talk about Honestly Nevermind anymore with you, dude. Every single reaction I do for the rest of the year, if I disagree with you on any track, you're just gonna say, oh, but you liked Honestly Nevermind. You hate it. I like it. It's so annoying, dude. <laughs> it really is so annoying. Every single thing I say, you go, but honestly, never mind. Dude, you talk about the album having hated it more than I talk about it having enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, kapow, there you go. A dance album is so much easier to sit through and still feel engaged, man. This album, you just like drift. Were you gonna say never mind? Were you gonna say honestly though, never mind? <laughs> oh my god, Jeff. Throwing off my whole groove for the video, dude. Dude, I needed more songs like this during the beginning of the album. Listen, man, it's tough to put into words. I'm very conflicted on this album, man. I think if I re-listen to it in any other setting, I'll enjoy it a lot more. But I feel disappointed in it um, com by comparing it to Modus Vivendi. I think the first half is a grind to get through. Um, it's very, very slow. It becomes very bland at some points. It feels like it doesn't go anywhere a lot of the times. The production is all very cinematic. It's all very well and good, but it always feels like it's building up to a climax that we never get to. And the second half of the project actually has, you know, some tracks that are a little more dynamic. They play around a little bit more with volume, with, you know, switch ups, with drums, with toms, with, uh, you know, orchestral instruments, uh, synths, strings, you know, horns. It's, it's a lot more interesting and fun to listen to. But by the time you get there, you're already so mellowed out by the first half and tired by the first half that um, it's a little tough to, to regain that energy that you had at the beginning. So I'm, I'm conflicted by it. I, I, I think that a lot of these tracks are definitely playlist worthy, but you know, it can get a little, it can turn into a little bit of a grind to sit through it all the way. I still think you should listen to it, pick out the tracks that you enjoy. If you're watching this afterwards and you, on YouTube and you still haven't heard it, um, it's still worth your time, 100%, because 070 Shake is very artistic. It's very, you know, she, she's a very creative person. And um, definitely check this out and, and listen to Modus Vivendi because this is a shuffle album. I, yeah, if you shuffle it, that, that might help as well. Um, maybe it's just the structure that she put the track list in that that would also make this album drastically more fun to listen to Modus Vivendi though is definitely a better project off of my first listen. I think so. It's tough. It's not bad, but it's It's also not amazing. I think um, Those are my thoughts though. I've only heard it once and uh, Yeah, don't it's not like everything that I say is the objective correct opinion anyways, so Anyways, uh, if you're still watching, I appreciate you so much for uh, checking out the, the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. I'm almost to 19,000 subs. I finally hit 18,900. I was stuck at 18.7 for the longest time. Uh, we're almost to 19,000. So thank you. Thank you guys for the support for the channel and for helping me to get, you know, closer and closer to my goal. And uh, yeah, check out some of the other videos on the channel. See if you enjoy those. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Everybody stay safe. And as always, peace out.